Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at people reveal someone playing victim. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. I was in a crowded parking lot driving around looking for a space. There was one car ahead of me. The car ahead of me stopped, so I stopped as well. I'm not sure why she stopped because there were no empty spaces and no one was pulling out, but whatever. Then before I even had time to react, her reverse lights came on and she came flying backwards towards me. I didn't even have time to honk. She slammed into the front of my car got out of her car and started screaming that I hit her. When officers arrived, she was crying and shaking and complaining that her neck hurt and cursing me for slamming into the back of her car. <gasps> what the heck? I would be pissed if the officers believed her. Thankfully, two people had been walking through the parking lot when this occurred and told the officer what really happened. Later, the driver of the car that hit me tried to tell the insurance company that I knew the witnesses and that's why they lied. I didn't know the witnesses, by the way. At any rate, if the witnesses hadn't struck around to give statements, I'd have been screwed. Oh, thank gosh for those two people, you know, thank gosh for them. Do the right thing, okay? <laughs> Honestly, what the heck? How are you going to do something wrong and then just act like you didn't do it and then blame someone for it, you know? Like, what is going on? Like, you should feel bad, but not, not, they wanted to get away with it. <laughs> Oh, that's messed up. This is why you should have like a dash cam or like a camera in your car that film everything while you're driving. My mum ruined my courthouse wedding, called me selfish and made fun of my shoes on my wedding day. It made me swear to her that I wouldn't tell her family I was getting married until we had a big ceremony. Then proceeded to go behind my back and tell people anyway. She is now genuinely surprised that I am upset and going around crying to all my aunts and uncles about how her only daughter will not speak to her. What just happened? You're gonna be a terrible person and then you're gonna be surprised why people aren't talking to you anymore. I was in line in my car to enter an amusement park. All of a sudden, the car in front of me threw on their reverse lights and backed into me hard. Again? Why does this always happen? I got out and was talking to the driver, a 17 year old girl about what I needed, her driver license and insurance info. She kept trying to delay giving me the info because she wanted to call her parents first. Fine, no problem. She calls her dad and as they were talking, she calms down and her face lights up. She turns to me and says loudly in a snarky tone while holding the phone towards me to get my reaction. Did I hit you or did you hit me? Because before I backed up, I checked my mirror and my passenger checked hers and you weren't there. And then all of a sudden, we felt a hit. I replied, are you implying I re-ended you? I'm not sure, but I think you might have. I point to my car, do you see that little thing beside my rear view mirror? That's a dash cam and it's been recording since I left my house and is currently recording our conversation. Now, if you want to go this route, we can, but the police are going to be notified. People should have that, you know, just in case this happens. Now she starts crying and says on the phone, no dad, he has a dash cam and it's recording everything. <laughs> the dad has given the worst advice ever. Then comes the waterworks. She starts trying to get me to talk to her dad, that he will take care of her, etc. Finally, I got the information out of her and had to get the front end of my car fixed. <sighs> yes, people need a dash cam, you know, because people like this exist, alright? Jeez. <laughs> How are you gonna lie in front of their face though? Like, they must have really thick skin, honestly. An older lady walked into a construction area where she knew she wasn't supposed to go just to snoop around when the workers weren't there and then sued because she slipped on a plastic floor covering. She worked there. She knew the area was off limits. Did it anyway. Um. Um. Okay. My cat plays with the closet door and sometimes shuts himself in. Then I get an angry cat yelling to get let out and acts like I'm the one that locked him in there. <laughs> oh. Ugh. When I was teaching, I had a student I adored who had some behaviour problems. I did everything I could to support him. One day, we were taking a test and he was talking. I reminded him several times that talking during a test is not allowed and I would have him go in the hallway if he continued. He continued talking, so I told him to go into the hall. He called me autistic on his way out, his favourite insult. And so, I wrote him a referral. He called his parents and they didn't answer. So I sent an email explaining what happened, that he got a referral and that I hope we can work together to help him manage his reactions. His mother responded by saying that my behavior is unacceptable and that she is done speaking with me and I will hear from her lawyer. 
She went all the way up to the district level to complain about me, telling all sorts of lies and making me look like a horrible person. I don't teach anymore. What in the world? This is why for some people, they just keep doing wrong and wrong and wrong and wrong and wrong, you know? Because they know someone's got their back, okay? Like the kid did something wrong, so there should be a consequence. But then if the parent is gonna be like, no, my kid did nothing wrong. Everything he did is correct. Then the kid is never gonna learn from their mistakes because their mistakes become something correct, you know? Jeez. Like, yeah, I get it. Be there for your kids, but not like this, okay? If a kid has done something wrong, they should know that it's wrong. So basically, I guess the teacher either got fired or gave up teaching because it was too much. My friend's sister, she doesn't feed her kids nor send the oldest one to school. Her neighbours reported her to the cops and now she's posting statuses about how cruel people are for separating a mother and her kids. Oh, I'm glad they're separated. She doesn't feed her kids. How dare she? Thank God for the neighbours, honestly, because if not for the neighbours, who knows what would have happened to the kids? Not getting fed. Jeez. I quit my job and set up my own competing business with my ex-employer after he failed to pay me for two months, claiming non-payment from the clients. He had a massive go at me after I confronted him with receipts from the clients to show payment and he accused me of making him look bad in front of his clients and that he didn't owe me the money because some people are bosses and some people are employees. Hence why I quit the job and set up for myself because last time I checked, slavery is illegal in the UK. I also warned a few of my ex-co-workers to be careful and not let him rack up debt with them because of what he did to me. They are nice people with young families and don't deserve to be taken advantage of like he did to me. I take him to court to try to recoup the money he owed me for the work I completed and the judge ruled in my favour for the full amount of just over £4,000. He then plays the victim card with everyone he knows and says that I made him and his family homeless despite the fact that he never paid me a penny of the money he owed. £4,000 is like 5-6 to six months rent in a decent neighbourhood in my city. Honestly, it blows my mind every time I think about it. Wow, this person sounds a boss though. They decide to get back at the employer by making a competing business <laughs> to compete with them after they didn't get paid. Wow. Honestly, I don't understand how people like this can sleep at night. Like, people are working for you and you're not paying them when you're supposed to. And then you're going to make up lies when you're the one who didn't do the right thing. Facebook drama from a few years ago. This girl was leaving a bar drunk and she backed her car into the car of someone she was an acquaintance with while exiting the parking lot. Then the next day went off on him for telling the police he saw her do it when he knew she was poor and could have just said he didn't see it and had his insurance pay. She kept digging a deeper hole and all the replies were like, don't drive drunk, it was glorious. Yes, he did the right thing. Maybe if she was a responsible driver, then she wouldn't have to deal with any of this. You know. I lost a lot of weight, 150 pounds. My overweight friend didn't. I don't care. She's my friend. I love her. I tried on a pair of size 12, size 8 US jeans, but they were too big, so I asked for a smaller size. Before I could try them on, my friend stormed out of the shop, and when I followed her, she screamed at me for rubbing my weight loss in her face. I lost the weight in 2015. I've been this size for four years. If she really cares about her weight, then she could lose the weight too, you know? You just have to start doing it. How is she going to be mad at someone asking for like a smaller size, you know? What does she want? For them to keep the size 12, even though it didn't fit them? My crazy college girlfriend cheated on me and then blamed me for causing problems in our relationship by being obsessed with the truth as I figured out what had happened. <laughs> What the heck is that excuse though? You can't be obsessed with the truth. I did cheat on you, but you can't be obsessed with the fact that I cheated on you. My best friend's ex-girlfriend. Basically, her ex was kicked out of her parents' house when she told them she was a lesbian. She moved in with my best friend since they were dating at the time. At first, she told my girlfriend that she was too depressed to find a job. My best friend was okay with that, even if it meant she'd have to work more, which she did. She even found a second part-time job. For the next six months, whenever my best friend asked her if she found a job, she'd always get the I'm too depressed response. Eventually, my best friend finds out her girlfriend cheated on her. Her excuse for cheating was, you're always at work and never have time for me. I need someone who will be there for me. My best friend kicks her out and then her ex blames her for having to move back in with her parents. The kicker, turns out her parents never really kicked her out. She was just tired of them telling her to get a job.
People who give an excuse for cheating, that's terrible. Especially this kind of excuse. You're always at work, you never have time for me. So basically they're just blaming their partner as to why they cheated. It's never your fault if someone cheats on you, okay? Just remember that, it's never your fault. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.